Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Jeanette with DeWitt Physical Therapy and Wellness. I am a physical therapist, an athletic trainer, and a fitness coach. And today we are going to talk about back to school. Actually, these next four weeks, we are going to talk about things pertaining to back to school. And today specifically, we will discuss backpack safety. Now, I know some schools are starting a couple of weeks from now, maybe three weeks from now, or even after Labor Day. But it's really, really important to have this conversation about backpack safety for your child. I am sure many of you have seen children walking with backpacks and they're completely hunched over because the weight of the backpack is just weighting them down. This is not appropriate and it's really unsafe for their spine, as well as just for other joints in their body. So I encourage you to watch this video, to pass this video along to other people and share it so that they can help protect their children, even teenagers, from backpacks that are too heavy or not worn appropriately. So today we're gonna to start by taking a look at how to find a good backpack and actually select the right type of backpack. Now I have my backpack here and it is definitely weighted, but it has a lot of safety features that are excellent for it. So the first one is it's got this nice handle at the top. This is important because if you have a bag on the ground, you want to be able to pick it up from its handle. The other thing is you want straps that are padded and wide. Really thin straps are going to cut into the shoulder and hurt the muscles of the shoulder or even pinch on the nerves of the neck and into the shoulder region. But wide straps that are extra padded and have this kind of mesh padding are excellent for on your back because it's going to protect your shoulders. The other thing you want to look for is double straps. So you should have two straps, one for each shoulder. This is important because when you carry your backpack, you want to be able to carry it on both sides. Okay? You want adjustable straps. So you're going to see, I'm going to adjust these so that the backpack, let me step back, is kind of not sagging. So I could even actually pull this up a little bit more. There we go. See how it's lifted up and it's not hanging down on my bottom? That's how you want it. So it doesn't have to be way up here and have the strap like cutting into your neck, but you want to be able to adjust the straps. And I can't adjust these any more than this. It's all the way up for me. You can have it up here, that's fine. You wouldn't have this gapping if you can adjust the strap more. But the key is not having it hang and hitting down low onto the bottom, on the buttock area. So wide, thick, padded straps. Also a padded back right and through here. And the reason for extra padding in the back is because you have sharp books or sharp objects inside the bag, you don't want that cutting or digging into the back region. So extra wide straps, extra padding, a handle at the top, and then some backpacks even have a waist strap that comes around and that allows you to carry a little bit extra load because the strap would connect and then you can have that strap taking some of the pressure versus the back. You want the bag, and I have stuff in this bag, so you can't see how light the bag is itself, but you actually want a very lightweight backpack. It shouldn't have a ton of weight to it when you pick it up with nothing inside of it, with no contents inside the bag. So you want a lightweight bag because you don't want to add to the weight that you're putting in to the bag. Now we talked a little bit about how the backpack should be worn. You want to wear it with both straps on. You want to wear it so the straps are adjusted and tight and fitting with the bag off of the buttocks and not hanging down low. 
I generally recommend it that it's about two inches above the waist or, or above the buttock region. So mine could be a little bit higher, but this is an older bag and I can't adjust the straps any more than that. Uh, now, the other thing, when you're carrying the bag, it should be close to the back. It shouldn't be sagging or really far from the back area. Um, you don't want to carry the bag on one side. This is, look, it already kind of a, throws me off and makes me a little lopsided. So you wanna be able to carry the backpack on both shoulders, nice and supported. And it's kind of like one with my body. There's no big gaps in between there. Some other tips is only carry what you need in your backpack. So a lot of kids will carry all their books all day long. That's what lockers are for. And I know that the argument is, well, I only get three minutes or I only get four minutes before between classes. I understand that, but coordinate a route and have your child to coordinate a route where they can leave some of their books in their locker so that they don't have to carry all their books for every single class in their bag. In some schools, you're not allowed to carry your bag anyway, but if you have a school that allows you to carry the bag, please have the child or the adolescent use their locker so they're not carrying a heavy load all through the day. Use the school locker, carry what you need, and pack what you need in a very systematic way. For example, the heavier items should be to the back of the backpack. That means they should be flat, like books and binders should be in the back of the backpack and against the back. You want the heavier items in the back of the backpack so that the weight can be evenly distributed across your body. Utilize compartments. So this bag has a lot of compartments and I'm not using this bag because I, I recommend a specific brand or anything, but there's small pockets here, there's pockets here, there's compartments inside with pockets in there utilize all the compartments of the bag. For example, many bags have that front pocket with pen holders and uh, ID attachments that hook on to the bag itself. Put your small items in these small compartments. One, they're easy to find, and two, they're not getting bent or broken from the weight of heavy books and binders in the bigger compartments. So weight distribution is important. Put the heavier items in the back closest to where you would carry them on your back and then put the smaller items in the front in some of these smaller compartments. The other thing is, is encourage your child or your teen to voice their opinion if they're having pain. If they're starting to get back pain or if they're starting to get neck pain because of the weight of the backpack, you want to make sure that they feel free and comfortable to come to you and say, the weight of the backpack is really bothering me. And then before this even happens, you want to weigh the backpack. For example, your child's backpack should not weigh more than 10 to 15% of their body weight. So if, for example, if you have a 100-pound student, their backpack should not be more than 15 pounds. This is crucial. Their body's not meant to carry that amount of force all through the day or standing at a bus stop or walking home from school, walking to school, carrying more than 15 pounds. That's very fatiguing and it's going to weigh them down and then you're going to see the backpack posture. Those are some extra tips. So just to recap what we talked about when selecting a backpack, you want two shoulder straps. You want them to be wide and extra padded. You want the backpack to be padded in the back of the backpack. If you can get a bag that has a waist strap, mine does not. They don't, they're typically optional. Uh, some bags have them, some bags don't, but they do have, give you 
your child a little bit more support because they can use the waist strap and have it available. Uh, if it has a handle at the top, that is great for picking it up off the floor. And then you want a bag that has a lot of compartments in it so that you can evenly distribute the weight by putting heavier items in the back and lighter up objects in the front and utilizing the compartments. Uh, those are the tips that I would recommend for selecting a backpack. And then the tips I recommend for wearing a backpack is to wear both shoulder straps, adjust the strap so that the backpack is sitting off of the waist or sitting off of the buttocks and not hanging down too low. And then I recommend too that you use the locker as much as you can and not carry your books all around. Now, one question that I have, get a lot of is, do I let my child use a rolling backpack with wheels? I prefer no, and here's why. One, if it has wheels, it's a tripping hazard in the hallway for other students. Two, if it has wheels, then your child is always pulling on one side. It, they're usually gonna use their dominant side. So that means on one side of their body, they're always going to be like this. So it would look like that. They're always pulling. Now that's rotating one side of the body, but the other side's not getting worked. And now you're creating like some posture issues with that, always rotating to the one side to carry the bag, to pull the bag along. The big issue that it's a tripping hazard for a lot of other students, and some schools don't allow rolling backpacks unless it's a medical issue. For example, somebody has scoliosis and wearing a backpack is they can't do it because they have a brace on their back or somebody who's had an injury and had surgery um, and they can't carry the backpack. For example, if they had shoulder surgery or wrist surgery and they can't just carry it and pick it up and put it on their, their body. Um, or if they had a knee surgery and they're using crutches and somebody else has to carry their bag and it's easier for the other person to carry their own bag and then roll the person who's injured. So there are reasons to have a rolling backpack, but for most people, it's really not necessary. It's actually more cumbersome to do that, especially for other students who have to dodge the rolling backpack. I hope this helps. If you have questions about backpack fitting, I am happy to do a screen on your student at any time. You just need to call my office at 262-842-2220. You can also email me directly at Jeanette at DeWittPTWellness.com. I'm happy to do a screen to take a look to make sure the backpack fits appropriately on your student. If you do not live close to me and would still like to have a screen, I can do a video chat and take a look at how your backpack is fitting your student. So it, it really, I'm not encumbered by distance, so to speak, or even if you're local and you don't really have a ton of time to come in, we can do a video chat and I can take a look at your student uh, and make sure that the backpack looks appropriate. So just give me a call, again, at 262-842-2220. I'm happy to do that for you because I really want to prevent injuries throughout this next school year so that children and, and teens are not just weighing themselves down and experiencing neck, shoulder, and back pain because of their backpack. I hope this helps in giving you and your family some tips for having a healthy school year and having a safe uh, and selecting a safe backpack for your child or teen. Thank you very much, and I look forward to chatting with you soon. Take care. Bye.